Hey everyone, so pardon my appearance. I don't know why I have to feel like I have to say that every single time. I don't know. I just, I don't have any makeup or anything on. I know I can look a lot better than this. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I've been so busy, 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 busy. Um, and so I put out that Henry and Rose uh, first impressions. So funny story. So prior to that, that was the night I went to bed. So if I'm in a red shirt, I went to bed and I still had the perfumes on and I had just taken a shower. So the next morning I wanted to film, but I didn't get a chance to because I was so busy. Um, but what ended up happening throughout the night um, is that every one of them wore off pretty much. So, you know, an eight to seven hour night. Um, and I was smelling something really delicious all over my pillows. And so I was smelling the spots on my arms and Queens and Monsters had totally kind of just, you know, it was very, very, very faint. It was there, but it was very, very faint. Fog was definitely there. I didn't have to smell that. I was like, ugh, I still kind of reek of that. Jake's house did settle down. Um, every time I think of it, it just makes me smile. But um, it did settle down. It wasn't as musky as it as the bottom note uh, came out to be. But the one that I was smelling finally came through which was sheepskin and it's such a slow burn that sheepskin it's like the first thing you're going to smell is that pepper that pink pepper and it's going to go on for a long 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 time and then and then it will settle down to uh the amber woods um bottom note so we're gonna try four more scents all right, so let's try. So I was reading them and I was like so excited. I was like, I think I know which ones. I think I know which ones I'm gonna like. So let's get those first. Let's get those, let's get those. Um, up, 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 up. Windows down. I have high hopes for you. I have high hopes for you. Flora Cardinarva. We're just going to see. We're just going to see. So, Windows Down has grapefruit, honey neroli, which is <clears throat> the same as Jake's house, and a soft earl gray with a light floral finish. Remember, it's the finish that we want, not the first notes. So, I'm going to spray that here. First thing is the alcohol smell, so don't go in for a whiff. Okay. Mm. It's familiar. It's okay. It's starting to it's starting to come down to the earl gray. We'll see how that finishes. I'm not really wowed by it. I have to say windows down. I would have thought maybe fresh air, maybe something, but it's just kind of like it's a smell that everybody else has smelled before, so I'm not really excited about that. Not really excited. Uh, I don't know, like, if I'll ever find one. Sheep's clothing is actually the top winner right now in my book in this Henry Rose collection. So we'll see. Flora Carnivora. Um, ooh, I got some of that in my mouth. Bright orange flower meets soft jasmine tuberose an earthy velveteer for floral finish okay i like all those those all sound great let's try let's try let's try right here i always want to go in for the smell but then it's like no because you're just going to smell alcohol the first initial smell is great like that artificial grape smell, but then the jasmine hits. Now it's a grapey jasmine. It definitely smells like a bouquet. 
not roses. So it definitely smells like one of those exotic bouquets, I guess. It's not something that I really want, but maybe it'll die down. Maybe it'll die down. So that's okay. These are these are the more florally smells. Windows down, uh, grapey, that smells like grapes. To me, to me. Uh, <laughs> Dark as the Night reminds me of a Lady Gaga song. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because it's Marry the Night, you know? Wanna marry the night. All right. Um, rich. Okay, so Torn has some fun stuff. Has rich vanilla bean. I like that. Velveteer roots. So one of them has velveteer, which I didn't like, which is in fog. It has velveteer wood. This one has velveteer roots. So we'll see how I like that. Um, spicy florals. So let's go with torn. And it always reminds me of that Natalie Imbruglia song. <laughs> Can you tell them from the 90s? Oh, oh, I can smell that already. I don't even have to smell my hand. Wow, that's rich and warm. Ooh, Ooh that is spicy. When it says it's spicy, it's spicy. I, I believe it. Ooh, okay. Far away, that smells amazing. On the skin, it smells like licorice. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I liked it in the air. It smells good. It smells like like something's cooking. You know, what's, what's John Cena cooking? <laughs> it does smell good. No. No. Mmm. I don't like the way it smells on my skin. Now, somebody did make a mention, and now that they've mentioned it, I remember it does smell a little Play-Doh-y. Okay, so it's mixing with my, my uh, DNA, um, and it does not mix well with me. So this torn might not go with everyone's pheromones, whatever, uh, skin. So <sighs> it smells good in the air does not smell that great on my skin. It gets a little bit of a Play-Doh-y smell, not too Play-Doh-y, but it smells like there's hints of like Play-Doh. And it's not very, I mean, there's like hints of that vanilla. It's like the vanilla comes and then there's something else that's right behind it that you're like, what? So I don't really understand Torn. I do smell the spicy notes. I like the whiff that I'm getting. I like, I like it in the air. It's, it's definitely in the air because I'm smelling it. I'm like, that smells amazing. It's like cookies and spicy and warm all at the same time. But then when you get up close, it's like, that's not what I'm smelling. It's weird. It's got a weird smell. I'm not really sure about that. Not really sure, not really sure. It's kind of giving me some weirdness. Dark is the night. The woodiness of patchouli, which I don't like patchouli. This one, I'm just gonna tell you. It has a vanilla bean for a decadent finish. What? Okay, I don't like patchouli, but I do love vanilla. And we're gonna try this out. That's not a word. I'm gonna try it right here. These are the four today. I have three more to go. That will be the next video. We'll see how these wear. It's in the afternoon. We'll see how they wear like when I wake up in the morning. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like I don't. Oh. 
I don't know if that combination is good. I don't like that either. I don't like the patchouli. I don't like it. That patchouli stinks. That stinks. I don't like it. It's like fog. It's a definite no for me. I'm going to say no. Dark as the night is just, mm-mm. And it's a different color, too. It's more, like, see how it's more yellow or gold, however you want to say it. Mm, I've just, I've, you know, you, windows down. It's just, it's familiar. It's way too familiar. I just would not pay $56 for something that I've already smelled before. And I think one of them said it was like a Britney Spears knockoff-ish. Not knockoff, but like familiarity. And I, I'm not a, like I didn't smell any Britney Spears, like circus or something. But um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of that one. I get the jasmine in the flora. I get it. But it's not something that is it's it's not something that I want to smell like all day. For right now, sheep's clothing is becoming one of my favorites. I don't like uh torn. I don't like torn either. Ew. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh all of those are gonna be a no. They're gonna be a no, 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 no. Um Okay, so if you like some pretty strong, smelly perfume, then go with Dark as Night. Because that's what it is. It's that old, old, smelly, smelly perfume. Heavy, heavy perfume. Some people can get away with this. I don't know who can, but some people can. I think it's that Estee Lauder bottle, that old one. Ugh, that one stinks. So stinky. I don't like that one. It's so stinky. That's what it reminds me of. Um, it's just like really, really hard perfume. Like hard. Mm. Torn is another one. Smells good in the air. It's just died down to a weird spicy. Uh, I can't even like, I can't even describe it. Honestly, it just. Mm. That one, I mean, a certain type of person can get away with that. It's just like, you know, like Tom Ford has his like tobacco-y, spicy smells. I've never really smelled, nah, I can't say never, but I've never had a bottle of Tom Ford. I know that a lot of people describe Tom Ford. Some of his smells can be really, really just like potent. That's what that smells like. If you can get away with stuff like that, go right ahead. I am not that. That's ooh, that's too much for me. Um, windows down smells like something that you would buy from Estee Lauder again, like pleasures or um, you know, it's very flowery. And I'm not very a fl I like jasmine in my smells, but I don't like the whole thing to be just flowers. So. Windows Down is going to be another no contender unless it starts to die down for me. I don't know how I'm going to like that all day. <laughs> um, Flora Carnivara, again, it's too flowery. It's like way too overpowering. Something happens when people try to capture the smell of flowers it's just, it's not that strong for one. Like flowers are just very light. And I don't know why they tend to put vanilla and flowers together because those are two powerful smells. And it's just, it's not, it's going to be too, too much. Um, so we'll see how these wear out today. Um, I'm not really sure how these are going to go, but for, for the winner today is none. They all lose. They're all losers today. There's no winners today. They lose. Um, I probably will not buy any of those smells. When, and like I said, I have three more, three more to go. I'm not really sure about these um, three, but 
so far so far jake's house has has it for me and <laughs> if you can tell by the bottle sheepskin um is pretty much almost i'm a i'm a i'm an optimist it's half empty right or half full that's right y'all are like duh girl optimist maybe my true colors are showing um yeah i just these are just so familiar and it's just not gonna work out so anyway that's my review today um tomorrow i might just pick it up where i left off and uh and tell you how these four went about the day maybe they died down maybe they maybe they got better throughout the day i hope so see you next time